I always get asked, you know, what are the hardest votes you take and, and what is it that keeps you up at night? And I said, well, you know, that's just half my job, being in Sacramento during the week. The other half is to really uh, be, like Congressman Sherman, accessible and accountable. That's why I try to do as many town halls as possible. Uh, this is a series about three or four we're doing over the course of the next two weeks. Uh, we just had a young professionals town hall just down the street. You know, I've done a number of senior town halls. And I will tell you, my goal every day is to make the lives of the people I represent a little bit better, to give them a little bit more opportunity, to make sure we have the resources coming back to our community, uh, to make sure that they're able to give their children a slightly better life, hopefully, than they had. More educational opportunities, uh, more career opportunities, more housing opportunities. Uh, we had a number of accomplishments. We didn't do everything I would have liked to. I wish we would have done more on public transportation and housing issues. We have to restart next year to make sure we're refocused on providing more affordable housing, uh, making sure we're doing more to fix our crumbling infrastructure. And there's going to be a number of areas where I think we need to do uh, a much better uh, focus on that uh, for the upcoming legislative session. Uh, but this year, I do think we accomplished a number of really big goals in the past wouldn't have seemed likely. Uh, we actually passed a number of, I think, smart, common sense gun laws that I do not think affect uh, those that believe in owning a gun's ability to do so. It does not take away law-abiding citizens' opportunity to own a firearm. Uh, this does not create a new bureaucracy. This does not keep uh, people that believe in owning a firearm, their law-abiding citizens, for their own safety or protection or for hunting. Uh, but it just says that you know, we want to make sure we're doing everything we can to keep weapons out of criminals' hands, to keep weapons out of the hands of those who have mental illness, and also to make sure that, unfortunately, when these weapons are on the streets, uh, we're doing everything we can to prevent mass atrocities. Secondly, on environmental issues this year, California has led the way in global warming. California has led the way in clean air, uh, but we have to do more. Uh, and we have to continue to be a leader in this, and I look forward to working with the business and our community uh, to make sure that we do this in a way uh, that creates jobs, that allows for economic growth, and that makes sure that California is a leader in green technology. Uh, finally, I will tell you, on our budget this year, I think we had a lot of great uh, breakthroughs. We've done a lot of things in the last three or four years to really start refunding our K-12 through and community college education systems. Uh, we've seen hundreds of millions of new dollars go into our UCs and Cal States. Uh, but while those are just numbers on a board, what that really equates to is 10,000 more spots at both our Cal States and our UCs for local in-state students. Uh, Ken Kraft is uh, the president, founder, executive director, and really the heart of Hope of the Valley Rescue Mission. I've never seen someone in such a short time build up such an amazing organization uh, to help the homeless. In a time where we have so much gridlock and a lot of unfortunate um, missed opportunities, Ken's been an amazing advocate for this issue in our community. So Ken, on behalf of the state of California, please accept this resolution uh, with our humble gratitude. This year alone will take several thousand votes. Every year I'm in office, I take somewhere between two and 3,000 votes. Uh, I have one of the best records of not missing votes. I try to always vote up or down. I try to always make sure that I'm informed, uh, not only on the issue at hand from the experts, uh, but from this district, from often uh, you'll, you'll get an email from me, sometimes too often I know, and I, when I get complaints I try to make sure I'm thoughtful to how many we're sending out. But we try uh, as often as possible to inform uh, those that I work for, the constituents of this district. We send out emails often, we send out newsletters, uh, you'll sometimes get mail in the mailbox that asks you for your opinions. We do surveys once a month, because uh, I truly do uh, weigh every decision on how it's going to affect the lives of those that I work for, how it's going to affect our valley, how it's going to affect our state. Uh, very often these are not easy decisions. These are obviously a situation where there's a real need, there's a real issue, uh, but we have to weigh is this the right solution, what are the unintended consequences, and is this the right bill, uh, not only for our state but for the, represent, for the community I represent. Uh, so I hope uh, if you're not on our email list you'll sign up. If you don't get emails we try to send out uh, mail correspondence, uh, but please my office is always available. I even often pick up my own phone uh, when I have a chance to. Uh, my team is often at the farmer's market with me, the concerts in the park. Uh, we try to go to as many community events as possible because I really do care about understanding what are the priorities of my constituents, understanding where they would like me to vote on certain issues, taking that feedback, incorporating that into what I do. And I'm trying to make sure that we're as accountable as possible. That's one of the reasons I'm holding this town hall today, to make sure I get that feedback, to make sure I'm able to take that information back to Sacramento and represent uh, this district to the best of my abilities. I really do appreciate everyone for coming. I know you have a, you know, a number of options on a Saturday afternoon with this beautiful weather to come spend it with me and give me your feedback. Really means a lot to me. Thank you so much.